So the fifth cause of low thyroid hormone symptoms is due to autoimmune thyroid disease. And there's a couple of theories out there right now. One of the most prevalent and seems to be the most uh, acceptable is that TSH stimulates the thyroid to make more thyroid hormones by increasing levels of hydrogen peroxide production within the thyroid cells. Hydrogen peroxide is very important for the conversion of iodide to iodine. So when these levels of H2O2 increase and it can't make the, the hormone because there's inadequate amounts of iodine, then it starts to cause inflammation and destruction of the cells, the thyroid cells, and finally the immune system steps in. The presentation for uh, Hashimoto's can be anything if you're just testing only TSH and total T4, even T3. You must, the way to discover if you have the autoimmune condition is by two uh, blood tests, uh, which I'll cover a little bit later on. But thyroid autoimmune disease is really, really important to know whether or not you have it if you have low thyroid hormone symptoms. Um, so it's important to stay away from anything that could possibly increase TSH levels. Um, the, the primary thing to be very cautious with is the use of iodine, which in high doses will, for many people, increase TSH levels. The sixth cause is the poor binding of T3 uh, to uh, receptors inside of cells. Uh, when we're doing blood tests, uh, in this example here, the four different blood tests, TSH, total T4, free T4, and free T3, they can all be normal because these are only measuring what's in the blood. It does not measure what's actually going on inside of cells. Here we see a diagram at the top, the blue circle T3 and below T4, just an example of what happens of the um, crossing of these hormones inside of the cells, inside into the nucleus. And here, another nutrient getting into the cell membrane, on the left side you see VITD, that's vitamin D, going into the, into the cell and becoming a part of a protein complex being made of vitamin D, retinoid, which is vitamin A, and protein. This complex then attaches to the receptors and onto this complex attaches T3. If you don't have enough protein complexes made from vitamin D and A, then T3, even if your levels in the blood are normal, will not be able to bind and you'll have a slow metabolic rate and low thyroid hormone symptoms. So the reasons are primarily low vitamin D, low vitamin A, and low cortisol levels. Cortisol being a hormone produced by the adrenals. Cortisol stimulates or primes these receptors so the T3 can bind as well. The seventh cause of low thyroid hormone symptoms are what are called endocrine disrupting chemicals in our environment. A study out of Paris showed these are primarily in pesticides, in our foods, and in cosmetics. These disrupt the normal endocrine function, including thyroid, uh, and a problem with uh, development physically and also mentally with children especially. Low caloric diets, another etiology or cause of low thyroid ho hormone symptoms. When you don't eat adequate amounts of calories in what your body needs for the day, the metabolic rate will start to slow down due to a shift in lower thyroid hormone levels. Low protein and low cholesterol diets, another etiology, cholesterol is required for the formation of hormones, including estrogen, progesterone, and cortisol. Let's review the seven causes. The first is, it all depends upon the physician's interpretation of your thyroid lab results. And most physicians are looking for values that are outside normal range and not considering and not treating with supplements, low levels of these thyroid hormones. There's also the bound thyroid hormone. You cannot, your body cannot use hormones if they're bound to proteins. They cannot get through the cell membrane. Bound proteins, uh, bound thyroid hormones are primarily due to high estrogen levels and sometimes very low progesterone levels. 
the poor conversion of T4 to T3. Conversion happens primarily in the liver. It happens inside the cells as well, but liver is the primary location of conversion. Certain nutrients are essential for this conversion to the active thyroid T3 thyroid hormone. Hypothyroidism that's being treated with medication. I've already covered that in detail. The thyroid autoimmune disease, another underlying cause of low thyroid hormone symptoms that's often not being uh, diagnosed. The poor binding of T3 to receptors inside of, the, inside of our cells. And finally, environmental causes and poor nutrition. Let's review the lab tests that are essential for diagnosis. TSH from the pituitary. You need to know this value to know whether or not your thyroid is getting enough stimulation and how well the pituitary is working. The total T4 tells us how much thyroid hormone your thyroid is making, and we need to know whether how much is bound and how much is free or available. So we must also do the free T4. The free T3, this tells us how well the body is converting the free T4 to the active thyroid hormone T3. We must understand whether or not we are dealing with an autoimmune condition when we have low thyroid hormone symptoms. And vitamin D, to know about the possibility of T3 not being able to bind at the nucleus level of the receptors. So those are the six essential blood tests to be done. I'd also throw in, the, in here ferritin, which is to let us know your levels of iron. Iron is another important trace mineral or mineral that's required by the thyroid to make thyroid hormone. There are also other hormones that are essential to know about the reasons why you're having your symptoms. One is estrogen. The other is progesterone. If they're very low, you can have what's called estrogen dominance, which is you can have normal levels of estrogen, but if, if progesterone is very low, you can have symptoms uh, to some extent, which would be uh, due to what appears to be high estrogen levels. Finally, cortisol being produced by the adrenals to know your levels because cortisol is essential for the priming of receptor sites inside of our cells for T3 binding and also helps with the conversion of T4 to T3. So that completes the summaries for the causes of low thyroid hormone symptoms and the uh, second section. Now we'll move on to the third section of three parts.